Hi, my name is Winslet, and welcome to my video talking about how these two units, the Living Fog over here on the left and the Baylor over here on the right, had the same model, and how it's really neat that I didn't notice that until more recently, until it was pointed out to me on Discord, because there are just so many different units in the game, and I think this is actually the only situation that I can think of where they reuse something, and it's... um it's done in such a way that you you really just can't see it very easily the living fog has all this stuff that kind of goes around the middle and the bottom that makes it hard to see the fact that it's got the same little hooves at the bottom of the unit model and it's also smaller this is a tier 4 unit that you can get on a tier 4 to tome and this is a tier 5 unit that you can get on a tier 5 tome it is worth noting here that the Baylor is coming from a tier 5 Chaos Tome and the Living Fog is coming from a tier 4 Shadow Tome, which means it's going to be very hard for the same ruler, the same player to unlock both of them. The higher tier Tomes require a lot of affinity points, so if you're going to go for the Living Fog, that's going to make it a little bit, um, it's going to make it so it takes longer to get to the Baylor in the same match. You might see a Baylor on one side of the fight fighting against a living fog on another army a little bit more early but it's very unlikely that you're going to see these two in the same army fighting against um, another opponent i think for that reason and the fact that there are over 200 units in age of wonders 4 lots of different things like you know this grim Breed crow and the and the works that we have over here and the fact that i can't think of another situation where they reuse a model will lead to most people not noticing this interaction between the Living Fog and the Baylor, and the ones that do, for the most part, will be okay with that interaction. Do you think it's worth looking at the actual Discord thread that inspired this video, where this person was basically saying they really dislike that the Living Fog has the same unit model as the Baylor, that is very obvious to them, that has just been reskinned, and that it'd be really cool if maybe the Living Fog Fog had tentacles, tentacles or something that was more shadow related because um, a lot of the features on the Baylor are things that you would generally associate with chaos, like the little goat legs are are something that generally are are associated with um, you know chaotic creatures across the board, like maybe more um, yeah demonic creatures would would have those legs that bend like that. The, there was discussion in general chat, and it seems like other people were, for the most part, saying this is okay. This is pretty split. 15 downvotes and 12 of the um, laurels, I think that is, is basically people saying they, they agree and then 13 people saying they disagree. But I think if we were to actually look at the discussion in general chat, most people would uh, seem to have the opinion that it's generally okay. There is a suggestion to slim it down. I think in general, if we do look back in the game here, this unit model is bigger than this one. If I bring them side by side, you'll see that this one is like half as tall as that one. So it is shorter, it's just not thinner. So I, I do like the idea of just changing that width a little bit, but you'd have to like make sure the proportions look right and that all the enchantments uh, work well on something that, that has that... Um, that scale because I think just scaling it down does make it easier to say put I don't know like frost blades or something like that on a Baylor. Um, I forget exactly what things can get applied to units like this with this tag, but um, yeah, generally speaking, uh, applying those visual like modifications is is going to be better if they are just you know more or less the same. Um, some people were saying they don't understand the dislikes that some people are okay with it and a lot i i agree with lord vector i think this this comment actually really informed a lot of um, my, my opinion many people didn't even realize that it was a reskin until months later yeah like me uh, it took me a whole year um and they don't even really consider it a reskin because uh some people don't consider it obvious eight dislikes and from eight people means that they that they don't agree that's not completely obvious to them and i agree with those eight people now 13 people um out of all the reskins you could do this person saying this is probably one of the best ones somebody in here does yeah right here they mentioned giants i just saw that a second ago before i started recording and i know i, I mentioned earlier that I, I couldn't think of anything else that was basically a reskin so if we go in here and just search up giant 
then we'll see that there are three giants, the storm giant, the fire giant, and the rock giant. This one says something about how it can be unlocked from the silver ancient wonder magma forge. And I can't remember if there are similar ways to unlock a rock giant or a storm giant. It doesn't seem like it's listed here on the database, but sometimes the database misses things. I like that the fire giant has something slightly different on its face. It looks like it's got some horns kind of giving it some more of that demonic um, uh, visual taste to it. The storm giant looks to me like it's pretty much the same as the rock giant, just it has like a little pattern on its arms and like electricity flowing across its body. So it is not the same skin. I'd say it's like a, the same unit model with a different skin or something like that. But it's uh, one of those things where I'm like, I'm, I'm generally pretty okay with it because all these guys are giants. Like you, you would imagine they would look uh, relatively similar. And yeah, that's pretty much everything I had for you in this video. If you have anything else that you wanted to add to the discussion, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you around. Have a good one.